Hey everyone, this is Josh Hayward. Welcome to day three of the Guinness Project. That's right, we are on day three of our travels through the various Guinness brews. Um, I've been collecting a few different kinds of Guinness beers over the last few months and we decided to crack into each one of these. Uh, we took a look at Guinness Draft the first night. Um, then we took a look at the Guinness Blonde American Lager. And tonight we have the Extra Stout, actually. Uh, this is a very interesting beer. This is the Guinness Extra Stout. Um, this, and, and I will say this, I will own up to this mistake. Uh, during my Guinness Draft review, um, I was talked about that particular beer being kind of the staple of what put Guinness on the map. Actually, I'm wrong in that. Uh, draft didn't come about until sometime in the 1800s. I guess if you want to go back to um, as, as pure as Guinness was or as close to the original as you can get in the market today, it would be the Extra Stout. Um, I, I believe there's another variety. Uh, it's called like Original or something like that that is uh, as close to the original Guinness as you can get, the one that was brewed in 1759. Uh, but other than that, Extra Stout is as close as you can get to that. So uh, Draft, as they call it, didn't come about until the 1800s. This here, the Extra Stout, would be the purest form of Guinness that we have in the market today. The most readily available, I should say. So I stand corrected. Many thanks to a particular YouTube subscriber who shared that tidbit of information with me. I appreciate that. I actually did a little research on my, uh, by myself as well. And sure enough, um, lots of great things you can discover about the Guinness beers. So we're going to be taking a look at Extra Stout tonight. I'm very interested to see how this tastes, especially in, compares, in comparison to Draft. Um, drops being more more creamy, more kind of the the norm, more of what is kind of um, the go-to in society, so to speak, as far as Guinness goes. So I'm really, really um, intrigued to try Extra Stout. I have actually haven't had this beer before, so uh, really looking forward to it. Let's see how it is. Get a little pour here. Oh wow, that's black. Very, very dark beer. From what I can see, just black as night for sure. Um, definitely as black, if not, yeah, I would even say blacker than Draft for sure. Um, if I remember correctly, just a visual comparison, Draft was more of a creamier, frothy type head. Uh, as a matter of fact, in the glass, I remember the, the original Guinness Draft being a little more reddish in hue towards the bottom of the glass. This is straight black everywhere. I don't get any type of lightness in that until I get to the very top of the glass and I'm looking at it in the light. So very, very dark beer, black, opaque, really black as night, uh, stout as they come for sure. Um, a, a, uh, off, uh, a tan type head there, I would say. Definitely not as creamy as Draft for sure, uh, but definitely a, a good, good looking tan type head there. Uh, but a, a black beer, a stout as as it should be. So let's see what we got on the nose. Oh wow, I'm getting notes of uh, notes of coffee, notes of uh, faint notes of molasses. Not much sweetness in there at all. Kind of some uh, charred, burnt um, malt. I would even say. A little bit of freshness in there too. Maybe from some of the hops used for sure. But very, very, uh, very inviting on the nose for sure. Just standard stout, I would say. Uh, you're getting the molasses, you're getting some of the, uh, the coffee type notes, you're getting um, even a little bit of a hoppy, uh, very, very subtle hoppiness. Subtle, subtle hop, subtle, subtle sweetness as well. Um, I, would, I would liken that to molasses, so. Um, here we go. Extra stout. Guinness extra stout. Cheers. Solid. Great beer. Very, very great beer. Just a solid, solid stout. Uh, I feel like I'm transported back in time, really, to... Uh, the porter workers coming off the docks after having worked a long day and wanting a hearty beer. This is that hearty beer. Lingering dryness there. Um, I'm actually, my mouth is actually very dry from this beer. Mm. 
not much sweetness in this at all. I would say that Draft had more sweetness than the Extra Stout for sure. I'm getting uh, that that toasted burnt bread type uh, charred taste from those dark, dark malts used in this particular brew. Um, no telling what it is. Probably some some black special black malt and things. Um, uh, coffee notes for sure. Maybe even some uh, like coffee espresso type things. Very little, uh, very little sweetness at all. Very, very faint, if anything. I would say uh, draft for sure had more of that molasses type flavor. Um, this is uh, this isn't this isn't it isn't there as much. I would say um, comparison side by side. This is drier. Uh, it's it's uh, stouter, <laughs> for lack of a better term. It provides that just that hard kick, just a uh, a hearty beer. Um, dryness, um, uh, solid flavors of coffee, um, espresso, uh, dark, dark burnt bread. Um, not a bad burnt though, like to heavily toasted for sure. Um, there's not much hops perceived in this particular beer. Maybe just a little bit on the back side of the taste, really kind of showing up um, more on the bitterness side. Again, a lot of that's from that that dark, dark malt. But a uh, very, very solid stout, very solid beer. I was actually very intrigued um, to, to try these close by. I wanted to do extra stout very close to Draft for sure, just because, uh, you know, Draft is what you see most often. The extra stout kind of being what is closest to the original Guinness. Uh, but this is still just a, a very, very good beer. Just a solid, hearty beer. Um, it is a very dry beer. It is, I'd say it's a heavier beer, a medium to heavy mouthfeel, not near as creamy as Draft. Um, that, that was, a, a, a um, an interesting, um, aspect of Draft was just the creaminess. I keep mentioning that particular beer because that's what we see most often. And, and with them both being stouts, it's a good comparison, but still it's a very, very solid beer, a good flavor. Solid flavor, a hearty beer. Um, it seems to, you know, quenches your thirst. It's, you know, I've heard some of my friends over in the British Isles call it a, call it a, uh, almost like a, a food group in a way, and and, and providing nutritional value. Uh, if you look back in history, even even some of these Guinness beers were um, provided to different people for for ailments and for um, just for health reasons, uh, just cause they, I believe even their slogan, uh, back in the day, 17 or 1800s was Guinness. It's good for you or something like that. But, um, very, very good stout, solid stout, good flavors in there. Good dryness, very appealing. Um, it's kind of a standard, um, for sure. Whenever I, I taste stouts, I find myself, um, comparing them to, to Guinness or something like that. Something that, that you've had quite often. So, very, very good beer. I would, of course, reach for this again, knowing that it is kind of the closest to the original that we have. Very tried and true. Um, just solid beer. Um, side by side, um, I like them both almost equally. I uh, appreciate Draft for what it is. Um, you know, kind of the, the staple, you know, enjoying that creaminess provided by it. Uh, but this is just, just a hearty beer. Just a, a very, very solid stout. You know, it hits you hard. Um, like I said, a worker's beer for sure. I can't can't stop thinking about those porters back in the day that finished a hard day's work and then would, would reach for a Guinness like this. So, great beer. I keep sipping on it. It's, it's very, a very, very good stout. So, thanks for following along today. The Guinness Extra Stout. Um, looking forward to the tomorrow where we will take a look at the Golden Ale. And uh, thanks, for so, thanks so much for following along. Uh, cheers to Guinness, the Guinness family, and the Guinness Project, and to you. Take care.